Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi Pordilla and in today's video I'll show you how to create design system packages with Adobe XD and Visual Studio Code or VS Code. Now recently Adobe XD had its three-year anniversary and part of the October 2020 update it received uh, some new features one of which is an integration with the very popular code editor Visual Studio Code. Uh, this allows designers and developers to create and maintain design systems. Let me show you how that works. This is a demo document uh, that I used in, uh, in another uh, tutorial for Envato Tuts Plus. It basically shows the 3D transforms now available in Adobe XD. And if you haven't uh, checked that out, make sure uh, to check out the link down below. Now, I have defined a couple of things in this document. So let's switch to the Libraries tab. And I'm going to go back here and choose Document Assets. Now in here, you'll see that I've defined four colors and I gave each and every one of these a name, some character styles that are applied to the text in these artboards, and also I have two components. I have a card, which is the big component, and a button, which is this one right here. So now, to create a design system, I'm going to click this button up top where it says Publish as a Library, and where it says 3D Transform Demo, hit Publish. Now I'm going to wait for this to uh, to finish publishing. And once that's uh, done publishing, I can uh, click on uh, Browse. And uh, in here, in the screen, I can find uh, the library that I just published, 3D Transform Demo, where I can see all of my colors, my character styles, and also all of my components. Now I can go up here and click Get Link. So that's going to give me a link, which I'm going to copy for now. All right, so now we'll switch to VS Code. And I'm going to open up my extensions, extensions panel. I'm going to search for Adobe XD, and it's the very first one here, and I'm going to install it. And once that's installed, you're going to see a little button right here. You can also press Command, Alt, and X to open or close this panel. So once you click this, and let me make this a little bit bigger, you'll see that you have two options. You can either load a package or you can create a package. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm going to give this, um, I don't know, test 3D, give it a name. Let's select a, a location for our folder. In my case, I'm just going to select my desktop. Next, it's going to ask me which languages I want this extension to use to generate code for my design system. So let's uh, assume that uh, me and my team are working with CSS, uh, maybe JavaScript, uh, and maybe SCSS. So let's uh, hit next. Uh, this is going to ask us to connect to Creative Cloud libraries, uh, which you can use to authenticate to have access to your private uh, CC libraries, or you can skip this and use the CC library link that we copied previously. So I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to select import. And this is going to import those elements from, uh, from the library. Now, let's say that you want to create a new file, right? Let's do one right now. And I'm going to save this as index.html uh, on my desktop. It doesn't really matter uh, where you save it. Now let's open up the XD panel and let's load the package. I'm going to select the folder that I created on my desktop. And here we have an introduction. It's going to tell us a little bit about the uh, design system package or DSP. And then we have design tokens. And when we click on these, you can see that we have our colors, our character styles, and also our components. We can see a preview of them right here. And what's really cool, we can create code snippets. 
So what we can do is we can start editing. And where it says code snippet, we can click this button. We can add a trigger, let's say 3D button. And let's select, I don't know, HTML. And we can actually add our code here. So href, let's say it's going nowhere, class is going to be equal to 3D button. Of course, you can name this whatever you want. And for text, we'll say add to cart, and we'll finish the A. So when we're done, click this uh, little icon, finish editing. Now, XD is going to tell us that, hey, in order to compile the tokens, we need to install style dictionary. So let's go ahead and do that. And style dictionary is now installed. Let's export our tokens. Once that's done, let's open our folder. And in here, you can see the CSS that's being generated. Now, let me actually open this. Here it is. All of our variables for all of our uh, colors and um, font styles are here. And we also have a uh, JavaScript version and also a SCSS version because that's what we chose to export. Now, because we created this, uh, this snippet here, I can go into my text editor and I can say XD and that's going to automatically recognize my snippet. And when I hit enter, it's going to generate this HTML that I wrote here. And obviously this um, whole package can be edited. All you got to do is click start editing and you can click any of these sections. This is using markdown so you can really customize this to your liking. You can create uh, the folder for this in uh, in a Git repository, for example, uh, to be able to do version control. But yeah, basically that's how you can create a new uh, design system package or DSP. Now, a uh, quick note about uh, this uh, DSP. This uh, was actually created by Adobe and its collaborators as an open package format when they were developing this uh, Adobe XD integration with uh, VS Code. Uh, there are currently other libraries that are available as a DSP. For example, we can go to uh, this link right here, letsxd.com slash VS Code. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see that we have publicly available DSPs and tools for Adobe Spectrum, Streamline icons, Bootstrap 5, and some other ones. So you can basically just click on uh, on one of these, and it's going to give you the instructions for downloading that DSP or design system package and use it directly in VS Code. And that makes it really simple to write code and to use and maintain a design system. All right, and that's how you can create and use a design system package uh, with Adobe XD and um, Visual Studio Code. Thanks for watching this quick tip. I'm Adi Pordila, and until next time, take care.